Good evening, people watching in 65. Lisa Boyce here. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. Like I say, every day is all about the blood, the blood of Jesus that was shed for our past, present, and future sins. That's where um, salvation is. That's where our faith lies. It's in the blood. That's how we're saved. It is grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of works, not of ourselves, these any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Um, once you're saved, once you accept Christ as Savior, you will never lose your salvation and the Holy Spirit indwells in you. That's it. You will never lose your salvation. I got to come on here and I got to give you what's going on. I told everybody in the past to watch China. Folks, things have gone, like <laughs> I said earlier, things have gone from zero to 60. And they're going from zero to 60 extremely quick. Um, Navy, U.S. Navy sends warship near Taiwan as China sends 15 warplanes. On Wednesday, let me see how long this is, this article is. On Wednesday, which is today, the USS John McCain uh, Arleigh uh, Burke class guided missile destroyer sailed through Taiwan Strait between the Chinese mainland and the island of Taiwan amid China flying 15 warplanes around Taiwan in an ongoing pressure campaign against the island. Things are escalating so fast between this and some fool is out there riding his bike. It's eight, almost 80 degrees here today. But anyway, between this and Russia and Ukraine and all of that stuff that's going on in Israel about this so-called uh, Messiah, Things have taken a turn, and things have taken a turn because you can feel it spiritually in the air. That's what I'm saying. Things have taken a turn, the point of no return. It goes on to say here, the U.S. 7th Fleet, whose area of operations include the Western Pacific and parts of the Indian Ocean, said the ships transit through the Taiwan Straits demonstrates the U.S. commitment to a free and open uh, Indo-Pacific. The United States military will continue to fly, sail, and operate anywhere international laws allow. USS John McCain operations near Taiwan come on the same day 15 Chinese warplanes including 12 fighter jets flew into Taiwan's air defense identification zone. On Wednesday, the military, the Ministry of Defense for the Republic of China, the formal name for the Democrat Taiwanese government, tweeted 15 Chinese People Liberation Army aircraft entered Taiwan Southwest, um, Taiwan's air defense on April 7th, which was today. While Taiwan governs itself as uh, a democratic nation, mainland China maintains a sovereignty claim over the island and for months have flown warplanes around the island in what military experts say is an effort to wear down uh, Taiwan's smaller air force. This is bad. China recently flew a single day record of 20 warplanes, including a dozen fighter jets and four bombers. In Taiwan's ADAS air defense uh, identification zone. The U.S. military officials have also warned of the rising possibility China could invade Taiwan in just a matter of, they say, years. Sounds like it's just a matter of uh, days. I'm going to link this article in the description box. And earlier today, 
one of my subscribers um, gave me this article here about NATO. Now, it says here, the U.S. demands Russia military buildup near Ukraine after sending hardware uh, to Kyiv. The U.S. has reportedly delivered three military cargoes to Ukraine in the last fortnight amid growing international demands for Russia to explain its troop buildup on the border with its neighbor. With its neighbor. Um, Moscow has sparked alarm by sending armed forces to Ukraine's northern and eastern borders as well as to Crimea. All hell is getting ready to break loose. Any minute, all hell is getting ready to break loose. Between all of this that's going on, I really don't, like I said earlier today, I really don't foresee us being here much longer. That's just me. I don't know when the rapture is going to be. I'm not setting the date. But I really don't see us being here much longer. Honestly. Um... I mean, it's just, it seems like everything is breaking loose right now. So I'm going to link both of these articles in the description box. And like I said, if something else comes up, I will um, definitely let you know again. But this is important. That's why I came back on here this evening. Just to let you know, I have to go pick up my son from work right now. So if anything else comes up, I'll let you know. Thank you.